I always love catching up with you, Sonia. <laughs> so I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just so much fun. Yeah, okay. But I've always admired you. So, for anyone who doesn't know who Sonia McDonald is, Sonia has been, I guess, on the front lines of leadership in Australia and even internationally for more than a decade. So she know she understands leadership at the top level and what is required to build teams and organisations where people want to come into work every day and they're excited about their jobs. She's also considered probably a LinkedIn influencer. She speaks on the topic of leadership as a keynote around, around Australia and internationally. She gives media commentary on leadership. So tell us, tell us, you know, we've just launched something called A Courageous Conversation. And I really want to know, from your perspective, I have my own perspective of what it means, but from what, your perspective, what is a courageous conversation? Excellent. I wanted to say it's always beautiful <laughs> catching up with you as well. So you know, thanks for, thank you for yeah. today. Gosh, courageous conversation and courageous leadership are two things that I'm really passionate about. And when I think about, uh, when I think about courage or being courageous, I think we, when you think about courage or even bravery, I think that to get to courage, it's about, we also think about fear, like, oh my gosh, there's always this fear to be courageous or to have these courageous conversations or be a courageous leader. And it's, courage is, is not the resistance to fear, it is the mastery of it. I think that being courageous is about going, you know what, I'm actually going to look fear in the face and I'm just going to go, I've got this and I'm going to be courageous and I'm going to have a voice and I'm going to stand up for myself and I'm going to stand tall and I'm going to put myself out there and have the courageous conversation and have the conversation that's meaningful for me because I have something important to say and I want to make an impact to the world. You know, how, how little, how, it could be the smallest conversation that can create a ripple effect. You know, it's, it, for instance, it could be, and, and it happened to me last week where I was, uh, you know, I received an email from someone that had said, your courageous conversation with me in my store because you're giving feedback to someone, for someone that gave you great service. So you had the courage to say, I want to speak to your store manager to give, give feedback about the service, which I did change this person's life. Yeah. You know, and that was five years ago that that conversation happened. And then I got an email just last week saying, just to let you know that conversation you had five years ago around having the courage to say, hey, you know what, I just want to have a, have a conversation with a stranger that I don't know to say, I just want to let you know that your staff member rocks and they're really talented and they're really great at what they do. Change. It changed her life. Yeah, it changed the trajectory yeah. of their lives. Yes. So are we seeing enough courageous conversations in organisations or by people, what do you think? Oh, absolutely not. No, I don't think we are at all. Uh, I still think there's a fear there. I think there's, I think there's a fear even around having conversations. I mean, that was a really great experience which yeah. I had a courageous conversation about, but people are not having courageous conversations with standards or behaviours that are unacceptable or they don't they don't respect or that aren't right. We're not having courageous conversations around that. You know, look what's happening in the federal election at the moment. Mm. You know, I'm constantly talking to people that are saying, I have no idea what these parties stand for because all they're doing is mudslinging each other. They're actually not even having courageous conversations saying, this is what I stand for. They're having courageous conversations around trying to put each other down and we're getting sick of it. We want to... It's a huge issue. Yeah, we want people to you know and have courageous conversations around what they actually do want what their expectations are and and also around having courageous conversations around i have ideas or i i want something different for myself or my team or for the organizations where you hear me you know around being vulnerable and and, and innovative within organizations I think, I think leaders need to be having more courageous conversations and they're making people feel safe within teams and organisations to have courageous conversations. Because again, as you know, with the, with the work that Brené Brown does, you know, when we're, when we're able to embrace vulnerability and encourage, it actually 
we're actually able to espouse and bring about, bring about creativity and innovation as well within our communities and organisations as well when we feel safe to be courageous. I think that's a really big important part, especially when we consider like mental health is such a big thing. We want people who are going to work and wanting to be at work where they do feel safe. They feel as safe at work as they do hopefully at home. Yeah. When they you know, like we treat each other with respect, we treat each other with kindness. And that's one thing I really love about you. Oh, I do yeah, the kind. I mean, I'm very passionate about the kindness, and you know, I'm very also incredibly, incredibly passionate about mental health. Uh, one of the topics I speak about a lot is, as you, you're very, yeah. very true, what you said around safety, is psychologically being yeah. psychologically feeling safe within the workplace, within your organisation. I think is fundamental today, and I, and I am seeing it. I am seeing more conversations around the space. I'd want to see more of it happening and that's why, as I, as I know that you are as well, we're so passionate about the courageous conversations and that's why we're doing these, these, yeah. these breakfasts and tours and the programs around this space because we need to see it more with us as leaders but also in the community and organisations around the globe. And I want to hear, I think we want to hear from you about leaders who you think are showing courage. We'd love to have them, like we'd love to interview them, we'd love to have them at our breakfast yeah. and at part of our tour that we're going to do because I just think there's probably so many out there and we might hear the high profile ones and we'll have them in, but there's also others at the grassroots level. And they're the really great stories yeah. that I love. The you unsung know, heroes. Oh, yeah, the unsung yeah. heroes. Yeah. So, you know, it's not just about high profile organizations or high profile leaders. It's about everyone, you know, everyone in the communities joining with us to help create a courageous leaders and courageous conversations. So thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>